What's going on everyone? Welcome to Moonbill Garage. In my last couple of videos, I installed the Holly Sniper EFI system under the D100, and then I took it out for a first drive and gave my impressions of the system. Overall, I am really happy with the way the Holly Sniper EFI performs. But I think there might be a few things we can do to make it just a little bit better. Just a few small tweaks. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna do before I make any changes to the system is to get a baseline. So I just finished up the gas station, filled the tank up, which you guys gotta start really watching and sharing these videos because this YouTube stuff, when it comes to gas, it just gets expensive. Um, but, so now I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go probably about 70 miles or so and try to get a good, and then I'm gonna top off again that way I can figure out just how much gas it used and figure out my gas mileage. So let me go for a drive and then I'll fill up and I'll see you guys after, after all that. All right, so I just got back from a nice warm ride in the D100. I stopped off at the same gas station, topped off the tank after the drive. So here you can see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Come on, focus. I did about 57.5 miles, put in 5.164 gallons, and that gives me, let's see if, I hope I'm not blocking that. I might be, there we go. And that gives me an 11.135 miles per gallon. Now, that being said, this sniper system still has less than 100 miles on it. I mean, this is only the second drive of the truck. The first drive, I only did like 20 something miles. So it's still less than 100 miles. So this thing is still learning. It's always learning, but I mean, it's still really learning. So that at least gives me a good baseline to start with. So now let's start making some changes and we're gonna make one change at a time take it for another drive and we'll see if it improves any. I don't think it's going to improve the miles per gallon, but it might just improve. Well, one mod, one mod might change the miles per gallon a little bit. The other one might just improve the feel of the gas pedal. The first mod that I want to make is I want to install a progressive linkage, which there it is right there. Focus. There we go. I'm gonna install that under the Sniper EFI. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the progressive linkage bar replaces this linkage bar right here. This linkage bar ties basically your, your primaries to your secondaries. And with this bar installed, when you step on the gas pedal and your throttle cable here opens the valve body, you're opening both the primaries and essentially the secondaries at the same time at the same rate. So what people have reported with both your primary and secondary valves, which is essentially what those are, opening at the same time at the same rate, people have reported that, you know, from a stop, that it's too sensitive, that the power is like almost immediate and it's just too much to ease off of a stop sign or red light. Um, I haven't experienced that. But what I have experienced and what I've also heard people say is that the pressure it takes to get both sets of valves opening at the same time is too much. You're having to basically, you know, push on the gas pedal and override two sets of springs or two springs. Um, and that's what I'm experiencing. It feels real heavy, you know, trying to ease up or ease off of a stop sign or a red light. Uh, it just takes a lot of effort to get going. I think by putting in this progressive linkage that now your primaries will open first, allowing you to get going, and then your secondaries will come in later. Now, this linkage is supposedly calibrated for, less, for, for lack of a better term, um, but it's set, the length is set that it should be approximately 40%. So you should be about 40% into your primaries before your secondary is open. So I'm gonna get this installed and then we'll take a look at it and see where it's at. Uh, you can change that. You can make it, you know, 35, 30, 25%, whatever, just by kind of bending this bar a little bit. But I'm gonna get this installed and then we'll go on to the next step.
you can see that the you know when the primaries open the secondary stay closed for a while and then at one point they'll open then they become linear again um, what we need to do now is jump into the uh, sniper EFI software through the handheld and make a setting change once you have your progressive linkage installed you're going to want to turn on your sniper system let it boot up all right once it's up and running focus you want to do a couple of things so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your monitor now i had some help with this i had my my daughter in the in the truck actually while i was out at the throttle body come to your gauges and now i have a gauge set up here where i can see where i can see my throttle position sensor there we go and what i did was uh you know i was out in the engine bay and she was sitting in here and i was moving it moving the throttle until i saw the secondaries open and when i first put the linkage in the secondaries weren't opening until 50 percent um, i didn't want that much so i took the rod out and i actually bent it in the middle and now my secondaries open right there at 37 percent um, i wanted it be below 40 uh, so i'm going to give 37 a try and we'll see how that works but once you know that number then you can come back in here come back to your your home screen go to your tuning tuning system oops sorry yeah tuning come on tuning system sniper setup and then right here progressive tbi linkage i've already come in and done, and done this uh, normally this is disabled so you're going to want to click on that go to enabled now when you do that it's going to you know you save it it's going to say you have to you know cycle your ignition and then you can come in here and you come down right below it primary secondary tps switch you're going to come whoops wish i knew where my stylus was right now you're going to come in here to your switch and you're going to set that to whatever uh, number that you notice that you have that you know when you're opening your primaries the point when your secondary is open you're going to get you're going to put your throttle position sensor value right there once that's all done then you can escape out you can save it and you are ready to go all right with all that done i'm ready to button this thing up and take it out for another test drive I can already tell you though, the gas pedal feels a lot better. It doesn't take as much effort now to move the gas pedal to get the throttle to open. Um, Cause I'm only fighting one spring now instead of two. So I think it's gonna make for a much smoother ride. Not that it, like I said, not that it was rough before, not that it was difficult or sensitive before. It's actually probably gonna be more sensitive now. Um, but I'm gonna button this thing up and we'll take it for another drive and I'm going to also see gas mileage like I said that's really just the off idle it's not going to take as much gas to get it moving so who knows what this is actually going to do for my gas mileage probably not a whole lot we'll find out so I didn't realize it has actually been a few months since I installed that Holly Sniper EFI um, so I took it for a second test drive after installing that offset linkage to not open the secondaries at the same time as the primaries. And I ran into some problems. Uh, the transmission was running really hot still. Uh, it felt like it was slipping. So you can go back, you can watch some of the past videos where I basically did a full tear down of the main case of the transmission. I replaced the torque converter. And since then, I did take it out for another test drive after that. And it ran better, but it's still running hot. I think it actually has to do with the overdrive section of the transmission, um, which the 46RH, the early versions, the A518, 46RHs, are, I guess are kind of known for some possible overdrive issues. Either way, I think I'm going to try to get this thing out on the road again and do that secondary test to see if adding that offset linkage to the Sniper EFI has made any improvements. Uh, let's try it out. Just got back from my test drive, and overall, this thing drives really nice. 
Um, made the same exact drive that I did apparently back in June. Uh, filled up, drove the same exact route, filled up when I got back. And I did pick up about a mile per gallon. Now, I can't say that's because of that linkage that I installed on the Holly throttle body. Um, more, more on that in a second. I did also replace the torque converter. Uh, when I tried to make this drive back in June, I did notice a lot of slippage in the transmission. It was running really hot. So I decided to replace the torque converter. That definitely did help. The transmission performed great this time. Still running hot, not as hot. I mean, it's low 90s here today. Transmission was still running really warm, just not as bad as last time. So like I said earlier, I think it might be the overdrive. So I did actually swing by the pickup part the other day. And I scored myself a, a, a uh, overdrive. So that may end up going into the truck, possibly. We'll see, I may rebuild that one and then put it in. I don't know what I'm gonna do, do just yet. So doing that, you know, replacing that torque converter, that may actually be what contributed to the mile per gallon increase. Hard to say, but that linkage definitely improved the overall drivability of the throttle body. Uh, it definitely took less pressure to get going from a stop. Uh, just felt really nice. I also noticed, you know, going down the freeway, 75 miles an hour, 22, 2300 RPM, that my throttle position sensor was reading anywhere between 22, 24, and about 30%. Um, if I remember right, when I installed that linkage back in June, I believe the secondaries begin to open at about 40%. Uh, I'll have to include that clip from earlier in the video here. You know, when you're opening your primaries, the point when your secondaries open. So whatever that, whatever I said back in June. <laughs> uh, so I know my secondaries aren't opening while just cruising. But overall, the overall drivability feels really good. I'm really happy with the Holly Sniper EFI. Um, just now I've got to get the, the transmission dialed in on this thing. I don't know. That's, like I said, I, I, I put a larger cooler in. I'm actually running my coolant lines through the radiator. Maybe that'll help stabilize the temps. The cooling fan's not kicking on and that's on a thermostat set for 185. So that tells me that, the, and I know that works. I tested it with a heat gun. I know, it'll, I know it'll automatically trigger. So I just don't, I don't know if there's that much of a temperature drop from the transmission before it gets to the cooler even. I'm stumped guys, I really am. I'm gonna have to keep, uh, keep messing with it. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.